In today's video, I want to show you how you can use WooCommerce to sell digital downloads and how you can protect that digital download from abuse. So we're going to control how many times the digital download can be made. We're also going to add a time limit. So once somebody's purchased a product, they have one month to download the product. So I've started work by creating a product here called Dazzling Digital Downloads. Let's edit that. So the name of my digital download is called Dazzling Digital Download. I've got some long copy. I've got some short copy. Let me add an image. I've created a very dodgy front cover for my ebook I'm going to sell. I've used ChatGPT to create a, an image. And the problem with ChatGPT is just can it handle text for some reason? Dalzing digital downloads. Don't get me started on that. So let's set the price, 1997. That's what all the uh, entrepreneurs charge for their digital downloads. I'm gonna make it a virtual product and I'm gonna make it downloadable. So the first thing we need to do is add our ebook, our 1997 ebook. Let's choose that file, upload it. Here's my dazzling digital download PDF. Insert that file. <clears throat> now you see it's held in WooCommerce uploads in a particular directory. So this protects it from direct download. So if I open that link, you can see it's forbidden for me to directly download. So the content is protected. So we're going to say there's a download limit. We're going to allow us to download two times and then the download expiry. It's valid for 30 days. So once you've bought this product, you download it twice, and after 30 days, it's gonna expire. Let's just publish that product. Now let's go and buy it. Let's add that to cart. And go through the checkout process. So at the checkout page, we're given our first option to download it. If we check the email that's been sent, you can also download it there. And it'll also be available to download in my account. Under the downloads tab, let's download my PDF. So that's one count. If we refresh this page, got downloads remaining one. Let's download it from the from the email that's sent to. So here's the email I got sent when I purchased my product. Click on that to download it again. If we go to my account. Nothing to download anymore because it's expired. You get exactly the same results once the product has expired time-wise. When it got to, I think it was the 19th of July, it was saying you would just have no products to download anymore. And again, if you try to download it directly, it's unavailable. This doesn't stop your customers from taking that PDF and emailing it to something, somebody. There's nothing we can do to stop that, but we can add these controls to limit the number of downloads and to limit the time when that download can be done. It's a useful control and it protects your digital assets from being shared widely.